Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And this is a pretty important video right here because I got a message from a Stephanie Jenkins on Facebook about an issue she was having with the rights to her images. And this is something that many of you will encounter at some point in your photographic photographic, photographic, photographic career. And I want to go over this and it's kind of about know your rights. So I want to read what she wrote me because I gave her the answer or I, I helped her try to figure out the answer through Facebook. And I think this is going to help a lot of you guys out. I was invited, invited by another photographer slash video maker to come and take photographs of some of his models while he took the video footage. We had only verbally agreed that I would come to take photographs, not be paid, no written contract, but I could use the pictures I took to promote my photography business. After hours of photo shoots, editing and getting the pictures to him, he then said I was only able to use two pictures from each photo shoot to promote my business. At this point, I asked him why, and he got all upset, told me to delete the photographs, and that I could not use any of the pictures. Though this, though this long initial explanation, uh, the question I have is, am I the legal and sole owner of the photographs, and can I use them publicly and for my portfolio? I also have model releases, model release forms from each of the models I photographed. Uh, so there's a bunch of things in here, uh, and I just want you guys to know this. When you take a picture, you own the rights to that image. You took it, you own it, unless you have some kind of agreement that says somebody else has the rights to those images. So if you go on a photo shoot and you, and you come up with an, a, a deal with whoever you're photographing where they own the rights to the images and you're paying your work for hire, they're basically paying you to shoot the photos and hand them over, then they own the rights if that's what you negotiated. But if you take the pictures, you own the rights no matter what. She didn't have a written agreement, but they had a verbal understanding that she could use the images, he could use the images, and then he basically said, no, you can't use them, you have to delete them, and if you try to use them, I'm going to sue you or make your life a living hell, which is pretty much what happened, is that he came back and said, if you use those, I'm gonna make sure you never work in this area again, uh, and you know, that, I told her that's a bunch of crap. You own the images, you have the model releases, you can do whatever you would like with those shots because you took them. So don't be bullied around by people trying to tell you what you can and can't do if it's not legitimate. So the moral of the story is if you take the pictures, you own them unless you come up with some kind of other dealing or agreement that says you do not own them or you're giving somebody else the rights or the usage. So this also brings up written agreements. This is one of those interesting areas and, and there's verbal agreements, but it's good to get things in writing. This is what I'm going to deliver you. This is what you're going to pay me. And here are the usages that you get. It's good to have these in emails. I don't think you need to go to a lawyer all the time. The lawyers are going to tell you that you should go to them all the time. But I think that if you just lay out those, that information that I just said, if you lay that out to everybody and it's understood, it's written, if you want them to sign it and you sign it, then there you have it. I am going to shoot the photos. You can use them online, but I retain the rights. So you just have to watch the wording on that a little bit. Make sure that you, you know that you shoot them, you own them. So Stephanie right now is trying to, to deal with this guy who's like, deal with my lawyer. Uh, you know what, I would just say forget him. Don't even bother trying to contact him. If he tries to use your images, you send him a cease and desist letter that you write up, hey, you can't use these. And if you really want to take it further, you can. But to me, it's not worth the time and effort to try to fight uh, some, some people out there. Um, but really, don't be bullied around. And, I'm, and she won't be bullied around based off of what we've been talking back and forth about. So that's about it. Know your rights. You take them, you own them. Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com. See ya. Are you subscribed yet on the YouTube channel? Well, click this subscribe button right here. Also click this box if you want to be emailed every time I upload a new video so you can get the latest video uploads as they happen. And also, if you haven't signed up for the free user's guide, sign up right here. Put your name, email address in here. Hit send it. 
you will get a free ebook sent to your email as well as a link to a 60 minute long video on flash photography in the studio that Adam and I created. So please do that and we'll see you.